Need more academic vocabulary? Learn the academic word list with us. These words are the most common words used in university in most majors. Let's learn the next five words. Variable. Variable has four syllables. Variable. Emphasis on the first syllable. Wait a second. What are those symbols down there? That's the International Phonetic Alphabet. And we have a video explaining these symbols to you and teaching you all the vowel sounds in American English. That video is linked above in the I box and below in the description box. You can go watch it now and it will help you understand the pronunciation in our videos. But don't forget to come back and finish this video after. Variable, variable. Variable is a noun and an adjective. As a noun, it means a factor that will probably change or be different. As an adjective, it describes something that changes a lot. Hey, Em. Hey, Lauren. I was just thinking about that barbecue we keep talking about. Should we do that this weekend? Well, I want to, um, but there's two variables that we need to think about. First of all, is it going to be raining, and how hot will it be? Well, let me check something. My weather app says it's going to be sunny all day, and the temperature is going to be 80. Oh. Well, let's check those variables again on Friday to make sure it's still the same, and then we'll go from there, but that sounds awesome. Yeah, that's a good idea. So. I guess I'll call you on Friday. Yeah, sounds good. Bye, Em. See you then. Barbecue. So what were the variables that will make our picnic a great one? No rain and nice temperature. Your bonus sentence is the adjective form. He has a variable personality. Contract. Contract has two syllables, and we are using it as a noun. So the emphasis is on the first syllable. Contract. 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 As a noun, contract means an agreement between two people, groups, or companies. Excuse me, Jeff. I have noticed your talent and we would like to offer you a position on my team. We have written a contract that we want you to read through. Let us know what you think about the contract next week. All right. I'll take a look at the contract and get back with you. Our example sentence is, Jeff signed a contract with the soccer club. And the contract said that Jeff would play for the team and the team would pay him some money. Research, research. Research and research both have two syllables. Research and research. That's right, this word has two pronunciations. We emphasize the first syllable when it's a noun. Research, research. And we emphasize the second syllable when it's a verb. Research, research. As a verb, research means to find information. As a noun, research usually means an article or a book written by someone who found information or who did their own experiment.
Tim, what are you doing? Exercising. What? Yeah, you know. Haven't you heard that uh, uh, a glass of wine is the same thing as an hour of exercise? I think I'm gonna have to do the research on that. Feel the burn. Oh yeah. <laughs> so Lauren isn't sure that M is telling the truth. She wants to read some research. Export. Export has two syllables. And the stress changes depending on if you're using this word as a noun or a verb. As a noun, we put the stress on the first syllable. Export, export, export. But as a verb, we put the stress on the second syllable. Export, export, export. To learn more about syllable stress, check out this video here. As a verb, export means to send something to a different country or place. As a noun, export is the thing you are sending to another country or place. Hey guys, these are soybeans, one of America's exports. That exported soy is mostly used for feeding cows like this one. So our example sentences are, the United States exports soybeans, or soybeans are an American export. Data. Data has two syllables, da-da. Did you notice that the second syllable doesn't sound like t, -t even though it's spelled with a t? It sounds like d. Dada. Listen again. Dada. Dada. Emphasis on the first syllable. Dada. Dada. Dada is a noun and it means a large collection of information and facts. Hello, Professor Mayundo. Hello, come on in. I have a question about my research paper. Mm -hmm. My thesis is that people prefer to watch movies at home instead of the theater. Mm -hmm. And my survey results show that 50% agree. Okay. So, how many people did you have in your survey? Um, two. Hmm? Two? You're going to need a lot more data. You are going to need to ask more people. Oh, okay. Um, so do you prefer to watch movies at home or in the movie theater? Mm -hmm. Example sentence. Em needs to collect more information for her research paper. She needs more data. Did you like this video? Give us a thumbs up so we can make more videos. And don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch everything we're doing each week. Ring that bell so you know when there's a new video. And we'll see you in the classroom.